I'm my question: Do you think he has W or he had W Riz like when he pulled you? What is W? We're old, I'm man. I'm so old. Oh my w god, Riz. I don't know what that means. Like okay, w. like right, how, Riz how, is like game, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome yeah, yeah. to the podcast. It's short for charisma. You're old. Charisma. I did not <laughs> that's what know I that. Yeah, that's what I heard. W Riz, but it doesn't really mean charisma as much as like oh game. It Riz, it's like it. game, like. He was smooth. Oh I don't know. Gosh, I don't get the absolutely. W. Absolutely. Like, no. Whoa. Okay. Hold on, everybody be quiet. Say that in Charles the Charles Metcalf had W Riz. W Riz. Riz. You heard it first here, ladies. We don't know what the W stands for, but Riz. <laughs> no, what I is was, the W? It's is like, like W or L. Like when? When? when like W R. I don't get person. it. I don't you never like get W it. in the chat? No. Like chat stop spamming L? Oh, gosh. Like wins or losses. Like I won. Okay, W Riz. This is tragic. I All need. Right. I need. <laughs> All that to say, bro, you, ain't you definitely yet, bro. feel like I had W Riz. <laughs> and sure. how do you have W Riz as a Christian man? Like two part question. So she goes <laughs> Christian. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you okay, know, okay, okay. Just learn what that means. Wait, I'll say the. Okay, we went on a date. Wait, what did you say out here? Because nobody heard that. Oh, he. No, there were times where, like, when we were dating, that I would like try to do those games. things, like for sure. And the he one time games. he just straight up told me like. Cause I remember I did the thing where it was like we were in a fight, and then I was like, "Don't talk to me," but it was like I desperately want you to come talk to me. Like that's right. what I. But I, like I don't I'm supposed to, to say like, like so "Don't talk to me anymore," you know. And then <laughs> it was like, one time I remember telling him, I was like, "You need to be ready. Like you need to be always thinking." Like, is Abby going to break up with me? And you need to be thinking, like, at all times, like, what can I do to make her not break up with me? And if you're not thinking that, then you don't really love me. Like, I Jeez. said that to him. Yeah. And, then, and he, was, he literally was just like, okay, well, I'm not doing that. And, like, I just like. <laughs> I was like, that. yeah, no. He just, like, left. <laughs> no. And, like, 24 hours later, I was like, crying. I was like, please come back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't, like, yeah, I don't, I you don't. called her bluff. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> like, but all I had seen were games. That's the truth. Like yeah, right. even that's in true. like adult relationships, everything that yeah. I had seen like before me was like you play these games, you do this, you act like you're sad enough. Maybe if you shed some tears, then they'll come back. Like all these oh, things yeah. to where we got to a point where it was like, and now I feel like it, it's just made our marriage so healthy, mm -hmm. and it's it's really like a kick in the gut to your pride to have to look at someone and say like. Like, I know that I was really, like, rude to you right then. And actually, I'm not actually mad at you. I'm just, like, super insecure about this thing right now. And I need a hug. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. having to say that, yeah. like, the first few times, like, sucks. Absolutely. Even now. So yeah, I'm like, I don't yeah. want to have to say, like, yeah. that that was me and I need a hug. And, like, I was just rude <laughs> because I'm insecure. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, right. But being no. able to, like, have that kind of relationship, I feel mm -hmm. like, yeah, you did that from the beginning of, like, me trying to mm -hmm. do stuff. And I was like, no, like. Well, I just, I think it's important because. Again, and this is all a, a gradient, I think, based on the relationship and the timing and how many dates you've went on and all that stuff. But at the foundation of a good relationship is the ability to communicate expectation and need. Mm -hmm. Like, that's an actual foundation. It's like, I can tell you what I actually need, what I'm actually feeling, and what I actually desire. And so I think there is a part of the dating that is this desire to be uh, pursued sure, and to learn yeah. each other and there is, there is a part of that that is just natural I think you just have to be aware of like what foundation if we get past a certain point we're starting to put foundation down like right. you know what I'm saying like past a certain amount of dating like you're starting to set up how y'all are going to talk to each other mm -hmm. and if there's always if you're if you're always saying something that you don't actually mean hoping that they get what you actually mean that foundation just yeah. doesn't play out the best after a certain amount of time. It, it stacks just, up over time. Yeah, like over time, that just builds like yeah. a, so do you want me to, are you mad or you don't, you want me to know that you're mad without yeah. telling me that you're mad? And so I think in, even back to your question, I think um, in relationships, I think it is like learning to, we talked about like having game or W Riz, obviously. Uh, <laughs> w Riz. But like <laughs> being able to, I think, communicate and like express interest and be honest. For me, here's what I'll say. And I, I think I think you would say the same thing. Abby's confidence and security in herself was the most attractive thing to me. Like when I met Abby, Abby was a photographer. She had I don't even know if some of y'all remember know this. When IG like first came out, there was a thing you could get suggested. Like the popular page was just like a list of IGs. It was just like it was it wasn't like a scroll through. It was like twenty five people. And Abby got suggested in high school. So when I met her, she had like thirty thousand followers. She Dang. and and. And it was this whole, she was a photographer, vibes were crazy. She was like the dopest person I'd ever seen. And it was great because in the sense that not like all the influence part of it, 
but she carried herself in such a way that she was just secure in who she was. Like it wasn't, she wasn't trying to like Abby and she would say this now. She's like, there's parts of her that are super quirky and weird <laughs> and like also super vibe, but also like kind of like silly and like, are you kind of nerdy? Like are you right. goofy or corny? Like, but also you're like beautiful. Like it was this, th- and she was just like, I'm just good. Like I'm good as me. And that, that part of her that, was that that literally on IG, like one of the first couple DMs, she like sent me, I literally still have it. She sent me a picture of literally, she was like hammocking. She was like all granola girl. Like she was out in the thing, like wearing chacos and uh, doing uh, hammocky. But she was, she literally like sent me a picture. It was like the camera was upside down. She like had her tongue sticking out and was like out here hammocking. And I was like, who are you? I was like, it was the most like random. I was like, like, have you ever hammocked before? (laughs) The hammock riz is crazy. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's not W Riz. Thanks. But it was like the it was like the craziest like what? Like that's just not like when you're first meeting someone, like the thing you're coming out with. Like, yo, right. And I didn't have anything else. (laughs) Yeah. And I was like, I loved it because it was like, yo, you just like are really solid in who you are. And like that's you gotta be to send a hammock. Yeah, like so awesome. You gotta have some security to make it be sending a hammock photo. The hammock yeah. photo I feel like for me though, so we met, Charles came on as a youth pastor at the church that I had like grown up at for like 11 years, like with my family. He came on as a youth pastor. We met, he was only 20, I was 18. Mm-hmm. We met literally like three weeks before I graduated high school. And like right off the bat, I was like, who is this guy? Like, beautiful in my head and beautiful. uh beautiful, beautiful. Man, call it be beautiful you <laughs> are beautiful well, thank you. um that unspoken riz right. <laughs> that's how it all starts out right. and uh we went on a date like literally the day after i graduated high school long story short i never went to the youth ministry or anything like that i wasn't mm-hmm. involved in my church in that way no, i wasn't no, I'm just kidding <laughs> You raise her uh, <laughs> but That's our mission statement, actually, at Elevation <laughs> Church. That was far from God. Uh, no, literally, I we went on a date. I come back home. I tell my family, like, he was incredible. And, like, I never told my family, like, when I liked anybody, anything. So it felt like, no, I really, really like this guy. Then he didn't talk to me for nine months. Ooh, and I didn't know ghosted. why. And, like, literally for that the nine months. Riz. Yeah, I was like, I'd walk <laughs> into church. I would, church. Stop doing this <laughs> <laughs> right, you're, I would walk into that. church and he'd be talking to my family. And then I'd walk up and he'd just leave. And I was like, and then my Ooh. family would be like, Abby, Charles is incredible. You should date him. And I'd be like, do you guys remember? Like, I tried. I want <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah. about? Um, and that. I, I didn't know what I like made up stories and my friends was like, he's a player. Like, that's what it is. Like, he must be a player. Like, just he's just going through people. all these girls at church. Like, that's what's happening. Like, I just made up all these stories in my head to make it easier. Um, <laughs> but then like fast forward nine months and it was like January. He asked me, he was like, hey, could you come like photograph this event at the youth group? We like, I just literally thought that was it. Like, OK, you just really need me to take pictures. Like, long story short, um, we are like a week after we like finally started hanging mm-hmm. out we're driving to Oklahoma City uh to meet his parents and he was like hey the youth pass or the pastor at the time told me like hey if you would have gone on a date with her 24 hours before she would have been one of your students like you would have gotten fired and we like didn't even think about that like didn't cross I was our 20, minds Holy. she was 18 so she was yeah. still in high school and I was like but I had just turned 20 and I was yeah. like I was in high school a year and a half ago right and she'd never cut I wasn't even yeah. processing it but and like, when he said that I was like <laughs> So he, that's why he didn't talk to me. And then all of a sudden, like in that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, like you actually had integrity. Like most guys that I would have known would have been like sneaking behind their pastor's back, their boss's back to like do what they're not supposed to do and like have this whole secret thing. And like in that moment, like I saw the integrity that he had. And I feel like the biggest thing for me with him and like the W Riz, whatever you want to say, (laughs) is like, I feel like such an old person. We're just going to be throwing this out. The integrity is like. I think you can put any word in front of Riz. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna it. stop before I like really date myself. Um, <laughs> no, it's too late, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the fact like he had integrity to like listen to his boss. I did not know a guy that was like that. Like at that time, that was like also dope. I mean, like it was just wild to me. And the fact that I knew like one of the one of the things because I feel like also too people are so like back to your thing about like is there the one mm-hmm. and it's like you think you're supposed to find this person everything clicks you don't have a doubt in your mind you're like not scared at all to get married yeah. and it's like 
that is not the reality. Like I remember mm. the morning before our wedding, I was like, should I just go to London? Like, should I just <laughs> should like, I should just go to London. Like I was terrified. Yeah. Like, and I wow. loved him so much, but they're still just like, oh my gosh, this is scary. Yeah, like I'm about sure. to commit my life to someone. And we knew like, this is forever. Like mm. we're not, there's no outs. Like yeah, this right. is it. And <clears throat> it's just a scary thing to enter. Yeah. Like no matter how sure you are, but the thing that like has always like drawn me to him is like I know that you listen to the Holy Spirit in your life and mm. like whether it's an argument or whatever it is like and even like being submitted like as a wife it's like I know like if I feel like you're saying we're supposed to do something we're not supposed to I know at the end of the day you're gonna listen to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and like he's gonna whether it's a fight or whatever yeah. like he's gonna check both of us and yeah, like absolutely. we that is the like ultimate card in our life and in yeah. our relationship is like we're gonna do and like we've had to make some really hard decisions and stuff uh -huh. that we didn't want to do but it's like no this is what we feel absolutely. yeah yeah well I think in, in so good. the beautiful thing to realize is in dating you're discovering a person and yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think giving yourself permission to like learn. For me, I haven't always known exactly what I wanted to do like on the first try, but as I tried other things, it helped guide me to what I knew I wanted to do. That was my experience in getting in ministry. I started off, I did creative stuff, I did groups, I did, and it slowly kind of like, I kind of bounced up against the guardrails until it got narrowed to this place. And I think giving yourself permission that dating can be that like in a form like oh i i now this is stuff we always say about each other we are not each other's list like <laughs> if i would have written down like mm. the per type of person it was not I hammock married, girl <laughs> it was like she would be crazy like it would be even like certain things of like i would i would be like it would be have dark hair tan loud like all this stuff <laughs> that they would have been and like she is wow. not that like blonde hair green eye blue yeah. eye like calm, really peaceful, chill, quiet. Like, and I think that's another thing that like we have stuff that we want, but God knows what we need. Mm -hmm. And so Jeez. being able to understand that like, there is a base level of attraction that is super important. Like yeah. that's one thing people don't talk about is like, again, on this pendulum of purity, we kind of swing to like this whole side. And it's like, yeah. if you're not attracted to the person that's and if problem. there's not a part of you yeah. that doesn't have to set boundaries for the sanctity yeah. of your mind and the purity <laughs> of your body, like you're, you're going to swing it to marriage. And it's going to be like, ah, oh, it's kind of whack. Like, so exactly. there is a part of it that like that natural, like, oh my gosh, like if we were alone for too mm -hmm. long, it would be dangerous. Right. right. There's a part of that that's like, that's good. Like yeah. that is the, that's the what's fun about embers, it. Exactly. Yeah. That's the embers of a beautiful marriage. Now you just got to put some, uh, some boundaries around that. But I think, also realizing that like God knows what you need. He knows my mind and how I think and all my mind could go all the places that I need peace in a person. Mm -hmm. I need someone who would bring me down and say, hey, like, let's think about these yeah. things and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't need somebody who's going to be screaming back and forth. Like, and so I think that's another thing is like, as you're dating people, as you're meeting people, like, oh, wow, I really appreciated that about that person that I was with. And now I know I value that. Like, I value someone who is calmer in personality and I thought I wanted I grew up in a loud house you didn't even know that about yourself I didn't even know you. that and like and seeing this dating relationship not as a failure but as an opportunity to, to give learn, something yeah. to my life and to theirs like and so that's the other thing too I think when you go super hard in dating and make it super intense then when you break up it's like you got a divorce and it's like you can't yeah. even like and it's like ah like and there's reality of that based on time and however long yeah. but when you're able to approach it as like yo I'm trying to learn you I'm trying to learn myself and when we break up it's like oh man there's no hard feelings because like we had a good time we just learned like we were mm -hmm. different and I learned maybe I thought I value <laughs> that and I don't and like but that's okay we're good like yeah. and you don't have to date a girl or get married to her like no one's forcing no her absolutely it. that's why i be trying to tell my homies i'm like yo if it's not working like yeah get out there for this day like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know absolutely. what i'm saying like, ain't nothing wrong with that i feel absolutely. like too even you guys asking about like the dating stuff one thing that i wish like people would have told me growing up it's like growing up in church and stuff it was just like sex was just such a like an untouchable subject and yeah. all it was was like don't, 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 don't. And yeah. then it's like you're married and all of a sudden, like, then the only thing you hear about it, especially from like a wife's perspective is like, now here is your wifely duty. And you're like, yeah. God, like what are you, you know what I mean? Like it's right. just such, I feel like, Dramatic. Uh, dramatic yeah. things like around it and how, how it's talked about. Like I wish, like I think about now, like how we talk to our kids about this. And I That's even right. think of like youth, like listening to yeah. this. And it's like, I wish somebody would have told me like, even like using the analogy, I really like to cook and like, this might sound weird, but like, if you were like prepping 
like a meal for Thanksgiving. It's like you can't eat the turkey right out of the bag. It's like you right. got to put it in the oven. You have to let it cook for right. like three hours. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you eat it like before that time, like it's going to probably make you sick. You're done. Like it's, yeah. it's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. raw. You're, yeah. you're going to be puking. <laughs> you can't have any of the Thanksgiving meal there. Yeah, yeah, like you're going to be There's sick. no Thanksgiving. You're <laughs> out. You're out for Thanksgiving. And uh, I just wish somebody would have like honestly looked at me and told me like, Sex is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like it is the biggest gift mm -hmm. and not just because it bonds you. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's enjoyable. Yeah. Like it's wonderful. Yeah, because and if, like, you, if you don't make it that, it's it's like they're capping. It's like, yeah. well, they don't even know how exactly, good it is. Exactly, because then you try it and you're but like, you they say this is bad, story. but I tried it and it's not bad. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's right. like, then you throw yeah. away their whole, because people sell you on the fad of like, of the thing is like, bad, this bad, is just bad, 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 bad. bad, bad. And then you either, you're either, it, here's the real thing that happens. There's two things that happen. Either you're in fear of it, and then you get married and you have a horrible sex life, and there's no you still, there's because no way you're you can't terrified. Just turn off because the, the fear of saying it. I do doesn't flip a switch of like, <laughs> right. all right, everything that I've been indoctrinated with for ten years just goes away. It's like, right. no, you're in there with the person you've given your life to, and what's in your head is this is bad. Right. Everybody's told me this is bad. What I'm about to do is bad. That's the association you have. With that's it. the only reference yeah. you have. Or they tell you it's bad. Either by mistake or by choice, you do it, and it's like, mm, wait a minute, you were either doing it wrong or you didn't know. So, like, so that happens, mm -hmm. and so then what do you do? You throw out the whole mindset mm -hmm. that that. So now Christianity, God's view on purity, God's view on sex, yeah. dating, relationships, all that is thrown out because this one thing wasn't true. Yeah. Rather than setting an honest picture, the honest picture is it is the most beautiful yeah. thing God created for pleasure, for recreation, for all these things. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And when you understand the value of it, then you understand, okay, well, if I gave you a solid diamond Tiffany chain, you're not, the way you treat that is different than if you go to the mall and get it from a kiosk yep. that's like going to turn your neck green. Like mm -hmm. oh, it's yeah. just, you understand the value. Mm -hmm. And so I think for me, honestly, for youth, even for our kids personally, mm -hmm. I want my kids to know from a young age, like sex is the best thing in the world, dude. It's amazing. It's so, and here's a beautiful thing. We barely did, but one thing I'm very proud of is we were both mm -hmm. virgins when we got married. And like the, yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and we, again, we were not perfect. We made mistakes mm -hmm. in, in our purity during dating. And, but being able to have that experience, I'm so grateful yeah, so that God really kept us in that way because it's like, man, having you as the only person that I've connected with is so beautiful and so special. And I think for two groups of people, for people who haven't had sex, I would say, I promise you it's worth it. And if you have, I want you to know that God is so good that he can still there is still beauty and amazing, amazing depths mm -hmm. of relationship that you can commit yourself to when you say, God, okay, I may have messed up before, I may have done something before, but from this day forward, yeah. I'm gonna live for you. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, pure in that way. And I just, I think in dating, you have to be honest about what you can handle in your purity, um, knowing that you're waiting on something. If I told you, if I told you, yo, in three years, I'm gonna give you $500 million. You just cannot eat uh, a pizza. I'll like, be chilling. That, bro, you would be chilling. No, I'm not worried about no pizza. No, I'm not worried about I don't. <laughs> and here's what you do. I wouldn't go past place. I wouldn't be go hanging out at Papa John's. I'm not even walking past. I don't, I don't go, pizza. hey, yo, you want to go hang out at Papa John's? Nope. You want to go? No. Nope. I don't. No, nah, I'm chilling, bro. Because, I, mm -hmm. because you knew yeah. when I get here, it's going to be like, and I think people just, they don't know that there's the most beautiful, mm -hmm. pleasurable thing waiting for them. And then when you are dating, like, realize that, like, that is to get married. Yeah. Like, yeah I feel yeah. like a lot of people be dating too young. Like, if yeah, you're 15, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you probably shouldn't have a girl. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When I was 15, I realized, like, dang, I probably shouldn't have a girl because <laughs> I don't got no intentions of getting married within yeah, the next five years. So yeah, what would be the point of, like, mm -hmm. when you're in that age, even mm -hmm. even messing with that? So yeah, that's why yeah, I feel yeah. like it's, you got to have the, the clear intention of, like, yeah. especially once you get older, like, yeah, once you're yeah. 18, it's like, okay, if I'm dating this girl, like I'm pursuing her to get yeah, married, yeah, yeah. and we're we're looking at that together, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's that's where the games like go away because yeah, it's yeah, literally yeah. just two people trying to like yeah, come yeah, together, yeah. Or whatever. Absolutely. You know what I'm I think giving yourself that permission to know like this is the intention, I'm trying to get to know this person with an intended goal, and as I'm in that process, knowing that's the intention, and being able to take the pressure off of like, oh, okay, I'm like mm -hmm. that is the goal. That's not the goal tomorrow. So like I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Yes, that is why I'm here. And the moment I know, like, I don't really know about you. Because what happens is you can get a relationship where it's like, now I'm just keeping you around for how you make me feel. Mm -hmm. right? And that's using people. Yeah. And it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. Right. Like, if I feel a genuine connection, I don't know if I want to get married. Like, 
I don't know if I want to get married immediately, but I know I want to keep spending time with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Like, that's and then okay. you can actually enjoy that time. Dating. Exactly. Like, it's like, yeah. I'm progressing. But if you know, like, ah, I'm, I know I'm not going to marry you. I know I just, like, I just want you around because it's nice to have somebody text all the time. It's like, yeah. well, that's, yeah. okay. You there's should no, probably just, that, gonna, there's, there's no way that's going to be good. You need a friend. <laughs> there's no way that's going to be fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. You need exactly. friends. I feel like, too, okay. even, like, practical stuff, like, I remember my mom told me one time, it was super freeing. She was like, if you're not, like, struggling when you guys are alone, then, like, you probably shouldn't marry this person. Like, yeah. you need that physical attraction to be there. That was a very <laughs> freeing thing to hear. And then also just, like, practical stuff of... I had friends when we were dating that, like, had my find my friends location. And, like, mm-hmm. anytime they saw that, like, I was at his house, it'd be like... I was like, text me. Like, mm-hmm. you okay? Like, yeah, you should yeah. leave. Like, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. That's just practical. Because mm-hmm. it's like, you can't... Yeah, what is the thing that my oh, God... Yeah, yeah. yeah, My friend told me, he said... Uh, you. It's going to sound funny, but I always have to explain it. But he said... Uh, you never, people never cage a dog that's never bit anyone. So, like, mm-hmm. you got a little puppy that's like, or, or a big dog that's never bit anybody. When people come over, you're not thinking, but you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, but you need to know every dog back to the right corner will turn and bite somebody. Yeah. And I think you have to realize, like, if I'm put in the right situation, it don't matter who you are, how much you've prayed, yeah. whatever, there is something in you that put the right situation will make this decision. Yeah, for sure. And so just knowing Part that- Part of like, the discipline is not putting yourself in Exactly. In like, position. it's just knowing, like, yeah, You can't do that me. alone. Like, like, you have and, to let people in. And I just have to be honest. Like, yo, I there were literally times where it's like, I just, once it get dark, you got to go. Mm-hmm. It, just, yeah. it get dark. I don't care if it's 5 o'clock in the winter or 9 o'clock <laughs> in the summer. If it's dark outside and I'm with you, we it's about to go down. We like, like, didn't just, kiss the last three months of our engagement because we were like. Because we had screwed up so much early. Like, we had been dating and together long of that. And literally, and the only way we learned that is because once it got dark, it was like, oh, Lord. It was like, <laughs> it was just so Difficult, mm-hmm. and we would make make mistakes. And we feel horrible. We tell our friends, and then we do the whole thing over and over again. Yeah. And literally, we made the decision. And this is something I would encourage anybody with. We were, we felt horrible. We had done stuff. We made a mistake, and I was just. We were sitting there. We felt so bad. And the next day, we were talking, and genuinely, it was born out of this place. It was like God. We feel horrible. We feel like we've made these mistakes. We hadn't had sex. We had done other stuff, and I felt like man. And really, I, I didn't feel like. And this isn't saying, I didn't feel like, oh, you're not supposed to kiss when you're dating or you should never blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. What I felt like is, God, I've made mistakes in this way and I want to sacrifice something that I don't feel a hard, like you should never do, but I want to do that to show honor to you yeah. as like, hey, I value this yeah. and I realize, and I want you to bless my marriage yeah. and I want you to bless our, our, our intimacy and our love. And so God, we're going to intentionally like do this. And that's like not even a peck on the lips, like not like, oh, don't make out and go to it. Like, no, just yeah. like we're not, we're going to give all of that up as a way to just show honor and say, God, like we really want to, we've not, we've messed up in this way. So we're going to go on this side to like ask you to really bless this. And I really believe God sees those moments. Mm-hmm. And so if you're in a spot where you feel like you've done all this stuff and you've messed up, turn that shame into something that becomes now a sacrifice for God. Like, hey, God, like, I've really messed up in these ways, but I'm going to be so intentional with this from here on to, and ask you to bless it. And God, honor those things. Mm-hmm. Like, when he sees that you're willing to be obedient to him and to sacrifice things that maybe aren't, for some of you, it's like, oh, man, I'm not going to do these certain things or kiss anybody or maybe I've I've kissed people, I've had sex with, I've done whatever, but, like, from this point on, I'm going to say, God, I commit myself yeah. to you in a new way. God honors those things. And so I think the enemy would try to get you, no matter what you've done, whether it's you messed up in a relationship dating wise, like you feel like you just didn't steward the relationship well, whether it's your purity, whatever, the enemy would just get you again to go back to the idea to be self selfish and stuck in shame. Gosh, I'm so horrible. I can never blah, blah, blah. And rather than just saying, God, you know what? I'm gonna start from today. I, I've said this quote all the time. I don't know where I heard it, but it says, uh, the best day, if you're looking for shade, the best day to plant a tree was 20 years ago. <laughs> The second best day is today. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, and that's, it's just like, yeah, like there's some reality of that. I'm like, yeah, dog. Like if you were looking to like the best time to not have done that was when was you was when about you to do it. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's just the reality. <laughs> but the second best day is today. Like, mm. and you can do it today. And from this yeah. point on, you can build something that's beautiful and it's you can look back and be like, oh man, I, I've done it. Like, And like, I promise you, bro, it will help your riz. Like, yeah. girls actually <laughs> like that. Like, when you're not like every other guy. No, see, like, absolutely. Like, absolutely. absolutely like, just like you were saying, like, yeah. you were, that's what you saw in him. Yeah. And he wasn't 100%. even trying to show that to you. But yeah, yeah. that's what made you really be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a one. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Incredible. Last question before we wrap up. Yeah. 
No Secrets Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Tell us about that. No, that's is y'all's great. podcast, right? It yeah, is. It is. <laughs> that's so funny that that's like a thing. Let uh, me tell you the story of how that, and then we need to get my man Elijah to the hospital ASAP. Dude, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's got no, bronchitis no, 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 for months, okay. bro. Let him some vitamin C. <laughs> attacked. Uh, but um, no, so literally it's so funny that like that's even a thing. So we, we were literally sitting at the kitchen table Okay, let me tell you routine. Our kids, we have four kids. They're all beautiful and wild. Go to sleep at 7 o'clock. They all go to bed at 7. Um, and every single night, we usually made a pot of tea, and we sit down, and we just talk uh, and either watch a show. Or what type little, of tea are we talking? Uh, Tuls- organic Tulsi tea. T- organic about. Tulsi tea. Wow. Rose Sometimes tea. Rose. Uh, and so just literally make a hot pot of water, make some tea, either play cards, sit and talk, or watch a show. That's just like our routine every single night. And... Um, and for, you know, everybody, everybody, not everybody, a lot of different people have started podcasts and stuff. We have friends that had done it. And I was like, oh, man, that's cool. And we'd always, like, thought, like, that'd be fun to do. We're sitting at the kitchen table, literally, like, at the dinner table at, like, 5 o'clock, maybe 4 o'clock. Like, we're sitting down, like, with the kids. And I was like, man, we really should start a podcast, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I was like, I know, that'd be so fun. And I was like, let's do it. She's like, okay, let's do it. I get on Best Buy, like, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> I bu- do an online order like for microphones. I put Arlo in the car. We go pick up the microphones. We come back, cook dinner, put the kids in bed. I plug the, the microphones into my computer, hit record. No, I text my friend before before dinner. Hey, had this idea for a podcast. I mean, Abby were talking. It was like, well, what should we call it? And then a friend was like, yo, y'all should call it No Secrets. I text him the name, tell him, hey, can you make a graphic? No Secrets. I have this idea for a little heart, blah, blah, blah. Can you make the graphic for me? He's like, yes. We put the kids in bed. We record our first podcast. It went live that night at 11 p.m. Like, what? That, it was like we did. So I it, think was, it was like actually 2 a.m. Because I had fallen asleep after we recorded it. And then I woke up. I was like 2 in the morning. Like, I like look over. And he's like, the podcast I is I hold up. my phone up <laughs> like, on Spotify. What? And it's like, no secrets. And I'm like, look. I literally, the intro is like the best. Our daughter, yeah, she's like, so she cute. says, welcome to the podcast. It's so <laughs> podcast. It's the it's so podcast. Cute. Yeah, my little brother like made this intro thing. Like it literally all happened with Within oh. like six hours, yeah. like, oh my and uh, and it crazy. literally is super. We I think we've done like three or four episodes, but it 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 really is just us. One thing that's super awesome that we love about it is uh, in ministry, in life, with kids, responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, a lot of stuff has a lot of weight on it, and it's good. It's a part of like what God's called us to do. Um, but also with that, sometimes just having stuff where everything matters, it just kind of feels like, ah, gosh, like yeah. this is just a lot. And so having something that's just kind of an outlet that's like, this is just kind of goofy. And like we literally just hit record and we just start, we don't even know what we're talking about. Literally. It's just like, <laughs> welcome. Like, and we're just talking and it's just us. And I think it's cool because like we're super goofy in the sense of when we're talking to each other. And it's really it's, it's really, we have no intention other than just like, we're just going to talk. And like, it's more so like hobby and enjoyment for us. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so we did it. We actually love it. It's yeah. like so fun. Um, very honestly, we just went through a really hard season the last like three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, lost some family members. We both had some health stuff. I had some health stuff that happened. Um, we had our fourth child. And so there's just kind of a lot of things around that that kind of made it like, ah, we kind of need to take a break. We like joked about it. I was like, if I would have been recording the podcast the last three months, all I would have been doing is crying. <laughs> yeah, like it's just a <laughs> lot has been happening. Been going through and it. So <laughs> we definitely want to like talk through and navigate those mm-hmm. things. But I think it's important. Uh, to just know when it's like when where you are in a season, yeah. and so yeah. we we love it and definitely want to do do more of yeah. them. Um, season two coming soon. Season two, <laughs> two coming yeah, season soon. Two, and by in. season two, we mean we just stop it. For three we'll episodes start again. Start like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much yeah, for coming in. We so really much. appreciate it. Like for real, yeah. even just for people watching, like mm-hmm. you guys coming down in a week where you got a hundred mile race <laughs> coming up the weekend, you're preaching every Sunday at your church <laughs> and to take cool. some time away Absolutely. from your kids for the first time from yeah, your, yeah, your no, newest born youngest, yeah. mm-hmm. um, to come and deposit in us, like mm-hmm. to oh, yeah. be on the lookout for the yeah. development on demand that we're going to post on YouTube. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Um, he spoke yesterday because literally like, bro, it, I think it shifted our staff like Man, yeah. to a whole new season that he's calling us into. Shout and out to DOD. We're posting that on, if you're like a member of the yes. channel, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, I think so it's going to be right. like a members only thing that we're going to do. Okay, okay, um, so. but yeah, thank you guys so much. Of Seriously. Course. Like this has been incredible. Yeah. And just the fact that you'd be obedient, take some time out of y'all's busy yeah, yeah. lives and kids and church and yeah. everything <laughs> going on to come pour into oh, us. It means the world. 
Thank People you. are the real deal, man. The real <laughs> so deal. Thank for you real. so much, so. man. I, I, wanna, I do want to say this. Uh, this is so important. Like, and, yeah. I, and I don't, I don't say that in any like. I don't, <laughs> I don't. From talking to Abby, don't play games to anything. I don't, <laughs> I don't say anything that I don't mean just because mm. it's. Mm-hmm. Dumb, and there's enough YouTube channels you could go find people saying dumb stuff. Uh, I, I, I genuinely things like this that are super important, that are super needed, yeah. and I just I want y'all to know like this is important not because you have sitting here, but it's because y'all are sitting there. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, having these it, the the people and the guests and stuff are not the significant part. It's y'all's dedication mm-hmm. to like yo, we're gonna do this and we're gonna be consistent with it and we're gonna share. And both of y'all have so much wisdom and mm-hmm. and uh, thoughts that God has given and. There are, in the same way that I'm up there wearing pink jumpsuits for certain people, uh, there are people that need to hear y'all talk, not me talk. And so I just, I want to encourage y'all to say that. Like, this is super important. And for everybody on team, like, the it's just really, really, really important. And I think I know for a fact there was not stuff like this. Like, going to watch a podcast of people that were my age or dope that were normal, that weren't, like, weird or trying to sell me on some yeah. lame version of Jesus. Like, <laughs> it just, it, it was not a thing. Yeah. And I think, like, being able to, in the same way that I said, like, from Virgil giving permission to me trying to do that, I think even this yeah. podcast, like, wow. is that for people? Well, and it now is, having kids, like, yeah. it makes it so real. It's like, it gives you so much hope. Like, oh my gosh, like, there's going to be dope stuff that, like, my kids can, like, fall in oh love with gosh, Jesus. Right. And, like, it's really cool. Yeah. Showing people that, like, there's so many different ways and expressions to follow God and, and have conversation about real stuff. Yeah. And not be weird, not be lame, not be whatever, but still have, like, access to a real relationship with Him. It's just so, 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 so important. And so, yeah, it, it's been awesome being here. And I think I, I'm leaving just, like, super hopeful. Like, yeah, for sure. dope. Like, I, I, I choose to believe people always, like, I don't know, I just feel like certain people are so, like, oh, it's just the world's horrible and everybody's <laughs> bad. And it's just like, bro, if that's how you see the world, that sounds like a horrible way to live. But, exactly. like, there's so much light. There's so much beauty. There's so much to be grateful for. And God is way stronger than the dark stuff you're worried about. Like, mm-hmm. and I just think we give so much credit to yep. culture and darkness and yep. what the devil's doing. And it's like, why am I so concerned with what the devil's doing? Why, yeah. Like, why are we so worried about, yeah. like, let's talk about what God's yeah. doing. Let's talk about, like, there's people that are living this out that, like, really do care and are going to make a difference. Yeah. And let's invest there. And so I think this is one of those spaces where, For sure. yeah, it's doing that. So. Seriously, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that means the Absolutely. world, bro. For real. Absolutely. We now, if you could just lay your hands on Elijah for yeah, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the bronchitis, bro. In the name of the Jesus. Name of bronchitis, keep Cast on. out this demon. <laughs> That's awesome. great. I feel good. Feel good? Yeah, I feel good. Beautiful. Feel good. Let's yeah. go. Great. That's it. I'll be happy to you guys. I was in the six, so I had to do the damn. Huh.